May your Mondays be magical, may your Tuesdays be terrific, may every day be amazing, especially when it's snowing. <laughs> what a magnificent vista experience, exciting thing to happen when it snows on the ground. Wherever you are in the world right now though, right now, whatever season it is, whatever climate it is, whatever temperature it is, is a really great question that I ask personally every day. And as an exercise professional, people have asked me, Rowie, I want to look good. What do I look like, personal question, naked in the mirror? Am I happy with what I look like naked in the mirror? And in winter, one of the sneaky things that we do is obviously we can cover up. So I've got a huge big coat on, it's nearly down to my ankles. I've even got gloves on. Uh, every part of my body's covered up. So sometimes people hide inside their clothes. Have you ever done that? I certainly have. Uh, but the beautiful thing is that the mirror tells the truth. I love it. And whatever's going on on the outside with your clothes, on the inside, you know what's going on. Uh, it's one of those uh, special things I was taught a very long time ago, just a personal etiquette uh, philosophy, is always wear beautiful underwear. Even if no one's ever gonna see your underwear, who cares, you've gotta see it, you know that it's there. And if you're wearing beautiful underwear, it gives you kind of a lift from the, from the inside out. Uh, certainly or surely, a healthy, fit, strong body that looks good in the mirror is going to help do that too. So regardless of how many layers of clothing you've got on, regardless of how cold it is, inside this jacket is my body and I have to live with it. Now the inside, inside of my body, I want it to be healthy, fit and strong. I want my heart to be strong, my bones to be strong, my muscles to be able to lift heavy things. I want my heart and lungs to puff really hard. I want everything to be working effectively on the inside of my body, how about you? The outside of my body that I can see in the mirror, there's a lot of argument about whether or not uh, it's important to look good. And being a nice person is far more important than having a beautiful body. And I absolutely agree. But as an exercise professional, and as a woman who's worked with experienced people who have really poor self-esteem, self-confidence, and poor body image, uh, some of the things that happen inside a person's head space when their body doesn't look good, uh, is it becomes very ugly. And I don't want ugly for anybody's head space. So my question is this, what are you doing every day? Is it important to you to have a healthy, fit, strong body? And if it's important to you to have a body that looks good from the outside, is that possible? Or are you hiding inside your winter clothes? Are you scared to go to the beach because you, you, you might have to wear swimwear or shorts? What if you could keep your body in peak physical condition? So it doesn't matter where you go or what you do, you can do it. So you fit healthy and strong so you can go skiing, snowboarding, surfing, swimming, mountain bike riding. You can do all the things that you wanna do physically because you're fit and strong enough to do it. But what if you've gotta look good in horse riding trousers or a bikini or shorts and a singlet? Or Is that important to you? And it may not be, I get that. But if it is important to you and you're spending or wasting a lot of time being really angry that your body doesn't look the way you want it to look, could it be a really good idea to just make the changes required? And I know that the exercise industry has made it complicated and there's all different kinds of exercises and all different kinds of programs to eat and or different ways to eat and different ways to exercise. And there's a lot of controversy and uh, contradicting information and the social media is full of stuff about how to lose weight and how to put on muscle size and how to have the flat stomach and it's just everywhere. But if you're really serious about getting a body or getting your body into great shape and getting your body to look good, what if it was as simple as this? And I'll go a step further because I'm an old lady and I could probably get away with it and be a little bit controversial. But this is actually not controversial. We just talk about too much, and I call it cow poo. There's too much BS out there about how to get healthy, fit, and strong. The simple fundamentals of anatomy and physiology and how the human body works, it's not that complicated. Get fit and get strong. Get puffed to get fit, lift heavy to get strong, and your body will change. You have to force your body to change. It doesn't change by itself. And it will change really slowly if you do slow, boring, long exercise. It will change really slowly if you put in a half an effort, because half an effort's better than no effort, I get that. 
but half an effort takes a long time and it's long, slow and boring. What if you put in 100% effort, get 100% result, get results fast and safely, it's cold out here, I'm funny, it's hard to talk now. Uh, all exercise needs to be fast, safe and effective. Would that be fair? If you are an exercise professional, if you love to exercise, if you're a coach, if you're giving people or prescribing exercise or making suggestions about exercise, shouldn't those three things be the most important? Is it safe? Is it effective? Does it work? And is it fast? Because most people don't want slow. No one's ever said to me, Roe, give me the slow program. It's always, I want to lose weight now. I want to be in shape now. Well, as I always share, let's not worry about weight. Let's get fit and let's get strong and see what happens to the human body. Because a fit body and a strong body is a fast calorie, bur fast calorie burning body, fast fat burning body, fast sugar burning body, fast carbohydrate burning body. Wouldn't it be nice to have a body that's so fit and strong that all the food that you put into it gets burnt up so it doesn't sit on your body in squidgy bits? Wouldn't that be awesome? If you want to get rid of squidgy bits off your body, you've just got to have a high intense activity exercise program that changes your body's ability to burn what's on your body. And that's the, the, one of the things I think a lot of exercise professionals may have, may have forgotten or didn't learn in the first place. That do we have a responsibility as an exercise professional to make sure that we change people's respiratory quotient or make sure that they have the respiratory quotient that they want? Simply meaning, where are the calories coming from? So base metabolic rate is how many calories your body needs. Metabolic rate is how many calories you're burning at the moment because that changes throughout the day. Obviously, my calorie consumption is going to go up today because it's cold. And to keep me warm standing here right now, my body has to work much harder. So I've got a higher metabolic rate. But my respiratory quotient is where the calories are coming from. And I'm resting at the moment. I'm not doing anything of high intense activity. So I'm not in my phosphate system. I'm not in the lactate system. I'm in my aerobic system, which means I'm breathing in oxygen, breathing out carbon dioxide, and I'm burning a nice combination of fat, carbohydrate and a little bit of protein. However, because I'm really fit and because I'm really strong, my respiratory quotient in my aerobic system prefers to burn fat. I've got a higher percentage of fat being burnt just standing here having a chat. That to me is pretty bloody exciting because what it means is a high intense activity for a short period of time in the phosphate system makes sure that the whole time that I'm resting, my body is preferring to burn fat. And when I'm exercising, I burn sugar, carbohydrate, glycogen really fast, which means all the carbohydrate I put into my body gets burnt up, all the fat that I put into my body gets burnt up, and obviously when you exercise, your body uses protein to rebuild itself. So the whole process works beautifully. So if you want to look good in the mirror, if you don't want to hide inside your clothes, if you don't want extra, extra squidgy bits on your body, and that's one of the things that I'm, I, I just feel... People say, Rowie, how can you be happy every day? Well, I have a, a positive attitude and I love my life and I learn every day and I laugh every day and I have beautiful people in my life and I've got gorgeous husband and beautiful puppy dogs and I love where I live. Look where I live, for God's sake, it's gorgeous. But here's my big thing. I love my life because I'm healthy, fit and strong. I've got a headspace that means I can love my life. And because I love what I see in the mirror, it takes all that hassle away of getting dressed and what to wear and do I fit into my clothes. It means you can buy beautiful clothes and they're going to fit you forever. I've got clothes that I bought when I was 18 years of age and I can still wear them. And I'm sharing that with you because it makes life a little bit more simple, a little bit more easy and takes away all the hassle of, I don't like the way I look. Now, if you love the way you look, congratulations, because a lot of people don't. If you want to love the way you look and you want to be healthy, fit and strong, it's really simple. Get puffed to be fit, lift heavy to get strong. When you're really strong, you can then get even fitter because it means you can exercise even harder. When you exercise really hard, it's really short. When you exercise really hard, you don't burn fat, you burn carbohydrates. So all the carbohydrates that you put into your body gets burnt up, yay. And then when you're resting, your respiratory quotient changes to, I prefer to burn fat. And now I have a body that burns up everything that I put into it so it doesn't have a chance to sit on my tummy or my backside or the, where all the places that fat sits. So if you want to look good, how about get fit and get strong? Get fit, get strong and look good for long. Woohoo!
I feel good. Na 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 na. I knew that I would now. Every single day is gorgeous. Woo!